Hello everyone, Gun Chronicles here. Welcome to the channel. Today's episode's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be on the test range. We're going to be going into the prefab editor. And we are going to be covering the uh, density command. What is it? What does it do? And more importantly, how does it work? But before I can tell you all that, I uh, need to show you where to go to see what the keys are for that particular command. Because I have a lot of my keys remapped. And the density command keys are some of the ones that I have remapped. And I s simply do not remember what the default keys are. So what you will need to do is go down here on the main menu down to the options and click on it. You will then uh, go over here to controls and click on it. And this menu pops up. You see all these tabs up here at the top. Just go over to the one that says edit mode and click on it. And you'll have this page. Down at the bottom you'll see density negative 1, density plus 1, density negative 10, and density plus 10. Whatever these are mapped to, it'll show you what keys they are. Those are the ones you will need to use in order to make use of this command. As you can see, I have mine mapped to the home key, the end key, the page up, and the page down. The uh, minus one and plus one are for really fine tuning. And the ones that you will be using the most will be the negative 10 and the positive 10. But now you know how to find what the keys are actually going to be. Let's get out of here. Go back to the main menu. Go into editing tools. And we're going to select the prefab editor. Now this thing takes a while to load up so I'm not going to put you through that. So get ready for an abrupt screen cut. Okay and through the miracle of editing here we are in the prefab editor. Now I've uh, made this little prefab here to help with this demonstration. Density command, what is it? Well, if you've ever built anything in the game, you know if you dig in the ground and then you put blocks down, you end up with this little gap or gully here, uh, whatever you want to call it. And it doesn't look all that nice. Uh, some people just put up with it, others uh, I'm including me, I will put down uh, sheets or uh, the uh, plates to cover over to kind of make it look a little nicer. Plus, it uh, sometimes the zombies will uh, kind of stumble uh, when they come up to that gap. And the sheets and the plates just kind of help prevent that. But... Unfortunately, in the game itself, you cannot fix this with the density command. But in the prefab editor, you can. And the way you do that is uh, not really very intuitive. You would think that uh, you're wanting to change the terrain block, so you would select it. Well that's not how it works. You end up selecting and putting your blue selection blocks around the uh, the building block. And uh, give you an example here. Uh, hold down the shift key and hit the Z key or the Z key and it'll give you this blue selection block. And uh, the, the difference between doing the shift Z is it actually puts the blue selection block around the block that your cursor is focused on. Uh, to get rid of the block you just hit the uh, backspace key. Now if you just hit the Z key by itself it places it up on top of the block that your uh, cursor is focused on. 
but we don't want that we want it to be around the building block and then you come down do the same thing to the other end just hold down shift press Z and you get this nice blue selection block now what you do is uh, you will take and uh, press the uh, plus 10 density key and just start tapping on it and as you see it starts filling in the terrain around the block eventually it will stop and now you have this nice smooth even transition between the building block and the terrain block just move your uh, blue selection block over a lot of people will uh, use the mouse and grab those arrow keys that showed up to move the block you just hold down and uh, continue to hold down the uh, G key and you can grab these arrows and move it that way or I just use the movement keys uh, default would be the A W S D uh, mine's been remapped to the arrow keys though but bear in mind if you do use the uh, movement keys the left right and uh, forward and backward it is compass related uh, for instance you have to be, you have to be facing north for it to move in the direction that you think it's going to if I was over here and I was facing south well I wouldn't be moving it if I wanted it to move over here to the uh, the right I would have to now hit the left movement key for it to go over here so just be aware if you use the uh, the arrow keys for moving this selection block that uh, you need you need to keep in mind what compass direction you're heading in just kind of an extra extra little tip there but uh, we're gonna fix this side as well just hit the plus 10 density and now you have a nice smooth surface we will redraw our block here and do another one here and this is where it gets a little tricky you will uh, fill this in and you're thinking everything's all nice and fine no problems well look here on the inside it spilled over the density from the train block is now coming into this open corner here and it does not look good the way you get around that is you select on the middle section and you increase it and now you do not have it encroaching on this corner here you do still have this little gap what you can do is you can come in and gradually start increasing it until you see it right there you got one little sliver that's when you want to use that fine tuning of the plus one and negative one all right now that one's that one's as far as it'll go before it uh, ended up encroaching into the corner do the same thing over here just increase it till you see a little sliver show up just that little bitty bit right there and then you just dial it back with the plus and then minus one you want to bring it back down there it is now it's gone and then that is how you would fix it that that gully if you had a pit drawn like this now if this was all solid would not matter you could uh, fill it all in and since there's uh, this is solid you wouldn't see that you wouldn't see this density in, in cringing upon this the, the space here because it'd be filled in with the blocks 
which is uh, why I have this second example over here. We go into a God mode here. See, I made this lip all the way around the pit. So now you have a two block wide lip here at the top. Since you have that now, you can easily draw your selection and then now you just increase your density got that side fixed hold down G key move it over fix the density on that side then uh, get rid of your selection box by hitting the backspace shift Z again shift Z increase your density move it to the other side do the same thing get rid of your box and there you go nice smooth even transition between the building block and the terrain block and it's not encroaching upon the uh, open corners this is the easiest way when you're building if you have the room just put down two blocks you end up with a nice smooth even transition all the way around and you don't have to uh, put up with something that looks like this or if it doesn't matter to you you can do it this way totally your option whatever floats your boat but it either one looks a heck of a lot better than this and uh, well also while we're here while, and, and add it uh, you can actually use the density command on terrain blocks itself it's like right here I'm, I'm, I'm decreasing it so if uh, you want to build like your own little uh, custom hill out of one of the terrain blocks you you can actually go through and uh, change the slope of the of the block by using the density command so you get like a more nice gradual slope that way you don't have to just go with whatever the default is from when you put the terrain block down and uh, one last thing to cover as far as the density commands are concerned is if you hit the escape key you will get this menu come up up here at the top you will see debug tools level tools and level tools 2 in the upper right corner here click on the level tools 2 and, uh, this is a this is a bug that showed up at alpha 20 this menu when you first start in the prefab editor is all goofed up D don't panic it, it's normal it does this to fix it just click on any one of these other tabs the prefab browser the first level tools or the debug menu just click on it then go back to the level tools 2 button and there it is fixed another bug that the fun pimps need to fix hopefully they'll get it done at some point but if you've ever been in here and you've wondered what does this clean densities button do well, let me show you you just click on it and voila everywhere that I had fixed the densities it pulls it back to the original point that it was
I uh, personally have not really found much of a use for that command, but it is there. And if you happen to uh, encounter a situation where you uh, need or want to be able to do that, that's the button to hit. You don't have to go through and uh, run through the entire prefab uh, adjusting all of the density all of the densities you can uh, do it in just one click just press that uh, clean densities button down here in the bottom right and it'll do every one that's on that prefab that you have currently loaded so uh, be be careful using that you could possibly wipe out a lot of your work <laughs> very quickly and by by clicking on that so just just kind of a warning there but that pretty much covers everything for the density command uh, this is not in the help file for the prefab editor at all this is just something that uh, you got to go to the forums or try to find a video for it somewhere on YouTube or some or some other place which is kind of what prompted me to uh, make this video I have to remember it's like when I was trying to research what it was and what it did there wasn't really all that much information on it so I figured uh, why not post a video covering some of the more obscure uh, prefab editor commands uh, if you uh, like this kind of video, then uh, please uh, feel free to give a thumbs up and a subscription. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to grow my channel, and uh, the algorithm uh, definitely favors uh, when you have community participation. When people have liked, when people have subscribed, when they've left comments it definitely helps uh, newer channels out so uh, it, it any anytime someone does that it is greatly appreciated uh, also uh, if uh, you, you like this this kind of videos I am planning in the future I'm going to also do a video over the uh, sleeper volumes and another one over the uh, trader spawn block that's in the in the game as well for the uh, for the prefab editor the uh, spawn block uh, get it, learning how to get it to work uh, that was a nightmare so I'm going to do that in a separate video and then also I'm going to be covering uh, the one for the sleeper volumes like there's some misconceptions about the sleeper volumes and I'm just going to do a video that explains the sleeper volumes and do a little bit of testing also for them but uh, as far as right now is concerned that takes care of the density commands and I'm going to leave you all with it hope you all have a good one thank you for tuning in Gun Chronicles signing out catch you on the next one